Right then, so I approached this gate a minute ago and then the battery went dead. I'm never always sure if it will. And I've just been round the trees there, up to the stone. Cows are in that field, but they've gone down props to the trees below. They do gather here as well to keep cool. And there's some very angry farmers around here who threaten to shoot people. I mean, you know, I think what it was last year with a lot of people about walking. I was lucky actually getting up there. I was very lucky. And that was just within the last year. If not, I might have even done it twice, like in the uh, end of last summer and again in the winter at some point. I, I think I've done it a couple of times, actually. So I don't have to keep doing it. Today, this is just getting out in the fresh air, enjoying the beauty all around me. Because they do say that it's going to be horrible weather again tomorrow. I never know what to believe, really, because it's they might say that, and then our little area escapes it. There's a window of good weather. That often happens. But, you know, we can also get horrendous weather. With lightning, thunder. I said to myself, because the weather doesn't look good, and there is a forecast of rain tomorrow and following, get out today. You might be feeling a bit tired. Get out, Sheila. You've got days where you can stay at home and do tree work. Keep it for the rainy days. And that's what we do. We, we're all the same. When you talk to anyone when you're out, they all say, yeah, get out when I can. If the sun's out, I'm out. Because we do have very, very interrupted spells of wet and cold and wind and sun and then a heat wave. And you, know, you, never, and you never really know. You have to go out prepared. I mean, I didn't bring my umbrella today. But I thought to myself, God, there's some big clouds. But this is a steady walk. It's not very hilly. I'm going to just plod along. I'll be going into the cool of those trees in a minute. And I have brought my cheese and tomato. A packet of crisps. I've had a chocolate bar. I've got a Kit Kat though, if I want one. I've got a nice plain oat bar. That's very nourishing. I've got oranges. I've got loads of water. I haven't even... I've had my can of orange aid, Fanta, but I haven't touched the water yet. I've got spring water and two bottles of still. If you drink plenty, if you think you're going down with anything. I also took a paracetamol before I come out. That tends to knock things on the head. And if I was feeling a bit strange, I would now take, I'm not though, but if I was, I would take an aspirin and an antihistamine. They're like little soldiers. They actually do different jobs, but they actually will help you and they give pain relief. I haven't got any pain and I feel all right, but I never go out without a little pack of um, cold sore cream because I don't get cold sores hardly ever, but I always got this little tube of cream and you put it on and it nips it in the bud just like that. Um, I've got antihistamine cream. I didn't bring deep heat. I tend to keep that at home because I tend to put the deep heat on. Um at night or sometimes I will put it on before I come out but I haven't ached my knees and my my big toe I've got one big toe that tends to get a bit irritated they've been fine they've been fine it's a nice big tree isn't it that one yeah they've been totally fine so the woods over there I'm just having a nice, peaceful walk 
in the English countryside. I can hear the motorway in the distance. It's school holidays. A lot of people don't seem to come out like last year. There were lots of people out all the time because of the Covid and they were told to get out. They didn't do it for long, did they? I'll probably meet a herd in a minute. Yeah, I want that long ago, a couple of months back. Before the big eruption of um, trees and stuff, you know, leaves. Because I remember passing the big oaks. Now, I've got a little, I grew a little acorn from one of these big oaks further along. Uh, it'd be nice to pass them again to have a look how they're doing. Take some pictures of them. My little oak's doing all right, although he did have some sort of, some sort of mould on him. Um, but uh, it might just have been a temporary thing. I, I bathe his leaves every day. I haven't today. See, that looks a nice sort of mysterious walk to go on, doesn't it? Go through that gate, wander down through the field there. Yeah, and there's, of course, this, this is another way that I would have come across the cornfield, the maize field. There's a stile there, so you can walk straight from that gate where I was earlier. And it's not very high at the moment, you can follow a path that will take you across there. And then we're coming up to a very pretty cottage now. Very pretty. And, um... It's got great views from it. Uh, what's it called? Warren Cottage. That's it. Warren Cottage. Very pretty. With great views. Over here. Look. Lovely views. Yeah. Yeah, lovely views. Lovely gardens. Very peaceful place to live. That's the sort of place I'd love. More to lovely live. views. I'll stop here for a minute. That's a good view, isn't it? The motorway over there. Brent Knoll. M5. Let's zoom straight into it. it might come out. It's a bit slow, this camera now. Yeah, there it is. M5. Crook's Peak. Yeah. Right over there. Once again, here's Winscombe Church, tucked into the hillside there. I've been there a couple of times this year already. Lovely church. It's open, there's a little door on the back. I actually did a little video this year. And you've got the back of the Mendips, going all the way to Wells. Right, over over noted for a minute, take a picture. Like I always do when I'm walking along here on this old drove road. This very old track. Banwell Wood there. The beautiful scene over to Crook's Peak through the trees there. And I'm walking along here and I'm, my breathing's good. You know, with all that lovely oxygen, a bit of a lovely little breeze. And I'm just gently walking along and I feel so relaxed. This is my real healer. This is what I tell people why I go out. Even if I'm feeling a bit groggy, I will still go out. Because you can bet your life I'll feel better 
than if I was just sat in a chair falling asleep all the time. I think what you have to do if you fight stuff, you've got to metabolize. And you only do that by moving about. And I've said it, with any respiratory thing especially, you need to get your rib cage moving. If it goes stagnant, that's when the bug will take hold of you. Get that liver working. Get those kidneys working. Get those lungs moving and working. And that will help your brain. Your mind, your spirit, your soul. I know I sound like an old hippie, but I have picked up various tidbits over those hippie years. Those young days, I met various people in my life that had an influence on me. And I've always known that exercise is good for you. I've always known it. When I was a kid and I had a hole in the heart, my mum didn't wrap me totally in cotton wool. She let me climb the trees. She let me go out in the field and play. She used to worry a bit about me and I used to get overexerted. But at the end of the day, like Dr. Bell, the consultant cardiologist, said years and years ago, exercise is the best thing for your heart. It's people who give up and just slump in the chair, order a big pizza and all the rest of the gunge. If you live like that, yeah, you are asking for an early grave. Because we've all been polluted by society that have given us foods that have been impregnated with pollutants. Things that make us bloat and get fat. I'm in one of those generations, but sometimes there is what I call the fat gene. Because if I look back a hundred years ago, I have a picture of some of my family. Some were very, very skinny, because my dad always used to say we, we were greyhounds. And then on the more well-to-do people, they tend, they could tend to get plump. They were well fed. I'm not saying they were fed in a bad way, but they weren't obese. To make money, people have produced food that is killing people. I mean, I know, there are people I know that just live on junk food takeaways, they order McDonald's breakfasts, they have, you know, that stuff like that all the time. But I think they do also hopefully have a good vegetable and fruit intake. But um, it is a worry. These drinks, I mean, I've treated, my, I think now and again, yeah, a treat is all right. It won't do you any harm. I've had a can of Fanta. I might have one twice a year. You know, these are what I call treats. And I don't think they do you any harm either. There's another bloody great big view, isn't it? Look at that. Hear the motorway yet, folks? Here it is glistening in the distance. People, imagine being stuck. I'm in this beautiful country lane, surrounded by healthy f air. They're down there, in a coombe, in a valley, in their vehicles, in the heat. And we've all go there. If you've got to go somewhere, that's what's what happens. So that camera doesn't like the heat, it's gone all liney. Don't worry about it, it'll come back. <sighs> so I'm, a, I'm here in this beautiful countryside. I've got to put up with noise pollution now. And I'm walking down this beautiful country lane. And I can feel that warm breeze on my face. And this is in the winter when it's cold and horrible. And I've got to be wrapped up with loads of warm clothing, which is also nice. It keeps you snug. But you th I think of these, these sort of places. This is if I can't sleep. This is what I do. I'll take myself to this walk. Remember that warm 
that warm bones, that lovely breeze, and um, and I'm, I'm surrounded by hedgerows full of beautiful blackberries that will be bursting with fruit too. All right, stinging nettles, they're okay. They're okay. They're fine. And I'm just ambling along, absorbing, reflecting, enjoying beauty all around me. And I'm hoping I can carry on doing this for years and years. Now, isn't that weird there? There. It's a load of glass, like it's come from a vehicle. Loads and loads of glass here. Maybe someone's tried to come up here and broke their wing mirror or something. Oh, I can hear people. I can turn off a minute. 